Maggie's sister, Christina. I'm here today to share with you guys some things that I recently learned about Hermes scarf. This was the first Hermes scarf that I've ever purchased. And if you've been following Maggie for a while, you know she absolutely loves Hermes scarves. And there were some things that I wish I knew before I made my purchases. So I thought I'd come on here and share those things with you today. So the first thing is, this is the traditional size of an Hermes scarf. It's 90 centimeters by 90 centimeters. And there are two versions of this that I know of. They're both silk. One is about $435. And this version, which is the wash silk, is $485. Now, this version, that's the wash version, supposedly is washed by Hermes artisans by hand and then dried. And the care instructions also say that you can wash this by hand or in cold in the washing machine on a delicate cycle. I have heard that the traditional Hermes scarves that are not the wash scarf um, can also be washed by hand. So I'm not sure what it adds to this, but other than $50 higher in price, but I absolutely fell in love with this pattern. So I knew I wanted to get it regardless of whether it was a wash version or a regular traditional silk version because I love this colorway and this pattern. This one is called Collier et Chins. I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but that means collars and dogs. And I love the fact that there are these great dog heads at the top and at the bottom of the scarf. Aren't they so cute? And this particular colorway I chose because it matches perfectly with my Hermes Bolide Malachite color. And this was not originally, I thought, available in the US because it was not shown on the Hermes US website. Um, there was a red version, I think, and a pink version that was shown on the US website, but I found this on the Czech Hermes website and I asked my SA for it and she was able to order me one, which was fabulous. It doesn't cost any more to order and have them shipped, and I absolutely love this. What you should know that I didn't know when picking this scarf was that Hermes scarves totally change in kind of value or market value on the resale market. So as I mentioned, this is $485 at the boutique, but in the resale market, this same pattern in this same colorway is selling in the $750 range. So it's appreciated even though this was a release from 2020. So there are a few still left, I believe in the US, but resellers know, how, I don't know how they know, but they know that people are willing to pay a higher or a premium price for this in the resale market. The other thing that I wanted to quickly come on here and share is uh, a little bit about Hermes Twillies. These silk little ribbons, essentially, can be worn in the hair, they can be worn around the neck. Most people, I think, use them to wrap around the handles of their Hermes bags, and um, that's the other thing. Depending on the colorway and the style of the Twillies, they can completely appreciate in price, something that I wasn't aware of previously. Um, I ended up buying Twillies that matched my Bolide Malachite and had the Collier de Chiens pattern. It was a remix, so it was a re-release of an older pattern. And I believe that those are selling at a higher price in the resale market. So again, it's kind of a crapshoot. You don't know if a price of a Twilly is gonna appreciate or decline after you buy it, but if you buy what you love, you really can't go wrong. But the Twilly that I bought in this Collier de Chiens pattern, obviously in the boutique, the Twillies are about $180 a piece. And in the resale market, it's selling between $225 and $275 in the resale market. And I know that like the Tree of Song, which I also have like the cobalt blue and red version of, again, all of the Twillies are the same price at the boutique. They're $180 a piece. But in the resale market, my colorway goes for about 225 250 but the white and gold colorway of that same pattern unbelievably i've seen sell for over 500 dollars for one twilly <laughs> so just something to bear in mind not that it should affect your buying decisions or purchasing decisions from hermes but you never know you might at some point want to mix it up and sell an old twilly and you could make a considerable amount of money on a 180 dollar purchase that could sell over $500. The other thing that I wanted to show with you guys is this is an Hermes shawl. Now this is much bigger as you can see. It's 140 centimeters by 140 centimeters. And this is the traditional Hermes shawl in a cashmere and silk blend. So it's 70% cashmere, 30% silk. And this pattern is called robe du soir, which I think means evening dress. 
and I absolutely fell in love with this pattern as well. And normally Hermes shawls that are in that cashmere and silk blends retail in the boutique for about 1,100. And in the resale market, they can, again, totally vary based on the pattern and the colorway. This particular pattern generally sells in the resale market for much higher. So between 1250 and 1750 is what I saw this pattern selling for. I was able to luckily find it from a reputable reseller um, for significantly less. I think they might have just mismarked it, I don't know. Um, but I absolutely love this. I guess what I have to say about Hermes shawls and scarves in general is that you should just buy what you love. If you fall in love with a pattern or a colorway, that's what I think you should buy because you'll know if it goes with all the other clothes in your wardrobe or not and you shouldn't really worry about what the resale value is gonna be. And you know, it's kind of the luck of the draw whether or not it appreciates or not. There are other shawls that I've seen made of the same you know, materials, the cashmere and silk, that sell in the four, five, six hundred dollar range. Oh, the other thing that I also didn't know was that Hermes shawls come in 100% silk as well, and they usually retail at the boutique and in the resale market for significantly less. So in the boutique, I think the 100% silk shawls sell for about $790 versus this one selling for $1,075. The other thing that I think some people use the shawls for is to kind of wrap it around and make it into clothes and things like that. I'll save that for a separate secondary video sharing how I think shawls and scarves can be styled uh, for people with like normal bodies like mine <laughs> as opposed to like stick thin really tall models uh, which who can you know wear anything any way they want. Um, but that was about it, that in terms of care, you can wash both of these in cold water by hand. What you should be careful of is not to iron the hand rolled edging. It's hand rolled, so it's got a little plumpness to it and uh, it's hand sewn along the edge. So you don't iron the edges. Even if you send these to the dry cleaner uh, and it is recommended for the traditional silk, make sure that they do not iron the rolled edges because it will flatten it and it will not look as pretty won't hang, I think, as nicely. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that, look, it's fabric. So there's a chance that things can snag or pill or get pulls. I do believe that these scarves are in a tighter weave than a lot of other luxury brands. I know some people complain about like the Louis Vuitton shawls getting snags and pulls everywhere. And yes, of course, it's possible that this will also snag and will also pull. But the one thing I will say is that Hermes is really great about kind of the ability for their quality items to be repaired. So unlike at Louis Vuitton, if you get a snag on a scarf, you go back to the boutique and you say, you know, can you fix this? They'll kind of look at you like, what are you talking about? You know, scarves get snags and pulls, that's just normal wear and tear. If you take a scarf that has a pull or a snag or like the edge roll has come, you know, unstitched, they'll actually take it in and repair it. They might charge you for it, um, but sometimes they don't, and it might take a little while, but they stand behind their products and the quality, you know, that's one of the things that I think they really take pride in is that their quality products, that's what makes it luxurious. And a luxury item is that it can be repaired and reused for generations to come. And sometimes things can't be repaired. If there's a tear or a hole or moths have eaten it or whatever, obviously they can't, you know, re, weave something but small snags or pulls if it hasn't if the thread hasn't been cut they will make their best efforts to try and repair it so that's it those are my two cents on hermes scarves and shawls um, i hope this was helpful to you if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below and either maggie or i will try to respond and answer them if we know the answers um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching